whales and humans have a complicated relationship. For centuries, we hunted some species to the brink of extinction and created places like SeaWorld. But we also revere them in pop culture like Willy and Fran, the humpback whale. Fran's more of a local celebrity. She was California's most photographed whale, often spotted alongside her calf, Aria. But in 2022, Fran washed up on California's coast. At just 17 years old, her preventable death highlighted a whale's biggest danger, ship strikes. Luckily, a new tech from UC Santa Barbara is keeping whales safe. International sea trade has exploded. Almost everything we buy starts on a massive ship that races around the world to a port near you. California's busiest ones are by the Santa Barbara Channel. Unfortunately, it's also where endangered humpback, blue, and finned whales have migrated for millennia. And it's here that these two giants collide. My daughter is a fan of dinosaurs, but we're talking about a thing that is bigger than the biggest dinosaurs. They have breaths that you can hear sometimes from a mile away. This animal that is so large, when you put it side by side with some of these container ships, feels very, very small. Douglas leads a team at the Benioff Ocean Science Laboratory at UC Santa Barbara, where they work on the issue of whale ship fatalities. The good thing is that that's actually a very solvable problem. Whale populations are still a fraction of their historic numbers. Meanwhile, the world has added 60% more container ships to the oceans since 2005. It's like we've transformed whales' homes into a game of Frogger. So when whales feed or come up for air, they can collide with these skyscraper-sized ships. 80 endangered West Coast whales die this way every year. And globally, the estimated number is staggering. But Douglas's team deployed a life-saving technology called WhaleSafe. One of the recommendations that came from industry was, just tell us when whales are there. The best way to do that is to listen for them, which humans haven't made easy. Oceans are polluted with noise from ships and oil drilling. So WhaleSafe uses a hydrophone to listen to the ocean. The system processes all of that sound through an algorithm to filter out the human-created noise and locate nearby whales. Combine that information with satellite data predicting whale activity, plus human sightings of whales, and you get whale safe Smokey the Bear type rating. Container ships in the area can see the rating and simply slow down. And so far, it's working. Since whale safe was deployed, the team has detected no endangered whale deaths from ship strikes near their system. Whale safe has already expanded to the San Francisco Bay Area. And since many shipping routes overlap with whale migration routes, this tech could be a global lifesaver. We're actually making some progress on this issue. Don't always get that in the environmental space, so it was something that makes, makes me feel really, really excited and really, really good. For those wondering about Fran's calf, Aria, the whale paparazzi recently spotted her swimming in Monterey Bay, offering further proof that the California coast is a little safer now. If you like this video, be sure to click subscribe for more Fig One.